If you feel like you're not evolving, you're not making consistent growth, you feel like you're stuck in a box, that box, think about it, an area of your life where you feel like you're stuck, you're not making progress, you're not advancing. That box by definition is three-dimensional. The three forces that keep you in that box are the same three forces that will liberate you out of that box, and they are your mindset, your motivation, and the methods you're using, your methodology. Welcome back to the Quick Brain Podcast. I am your host and your brain coach, Jim Quick. Our company, Quick Learning, we're all about helping you to learn quicker, how to have focus, how to be able to read faster, how to improve your memory, and so much more. We offer this podcast to you absolutely at no cost, and, and we don't even have sponsors because your time is valuable and we wanna get through this really quick. All right, if you want more information about our programs and our academy, make sure you go to quickbrain.com. Now let's get into it. In this session, in this podcast episode, I wanna share with you the limitless model for consistent growth and progress. How to make a personal evolution in your learning and also your life. Now, I'm gonna refer to a document that we are gonna upload at jimquick.com forward slash notes. And that's where we have the notes for 300 plus podcasts. So if you haven't gone there, make sure it's one of the most important resources that you have because most of the stuff, 95% of what we publish is absolutely free. Actually, it's not free. You have to pay attention. So it requires that you have to pay attention. All right. So let's get into this. You go to jimquick.com forward slash notes, find the episode, this episode specifically, that's titled for this episode and download that document and let's begin. We're going to turn this into a masterclass. So what holds you back? I want you to think about your current state and your desired reality. And imagine it's like a line. All right, and you might be listening to this if you're watching this on social media, or you're watching this on our YouTube, make sure you join our YouTube because if you miss this, you gotta miss a lot. All right, and please, please take notes and share it. Now, imagine your current state, all right? There's a, wherever you are, and maybe it's your current state of health, maybe it's your current state of your finances, current state of a relationship, current state of your learning. It could be your reading speed, it could be your memory, your focus, but you have a desired reality. Now, what are the three things, what are the keys to get from here to there? Because when I talk about evolution, and some people make like New Year's resolutions, I'd rather you make an everyday personal evolution. The thing about evolution is the consistent growth, right? Consistent, because little by little, a little becomes a lot. Where we've talked about this when James Clear was on our podcast that if, who wrote Atomic Habits in a wonderful book, that if you just improve 1% a day, Right, compounded by 365 days, what's 1.01, that's 1%, times 1.01 to the 365 power, you will improve actually a magnitude of 37 times, over 37 times, 3,700%, just improving 1% every single day. So that's, that's your personal evolution. So my approach is, think about your current state. If I'm coaching you right now, all right, consider this your personal coaching session and you wanna to get to a desired reality and you, you, it's not about just setting goals, it's about getting that goal. What's in between? I'll tell you there are three things, right? And you know it if you've read my book, Limitless. The three M's, you need to unlock, unleash, unlimit your methods, your motivation, and your mindset, all right? And start with the mindset first. It goes from your mindset to your motivation to your methods. Those are what you can control. You always control the controllables. You can't control the economy. You can't control what's going on outside of your world, but you can control your inner world. You could always control your mindset, your motivation, and the methods you're gonna use. Think about it this way. Your mindset, I'm pointing to my head, if you're not watching this on, on YouTube. Your motivation, I'm pointing to my heart. And what? The methods I'm pointing to my head, hands. Head, heart, hands. Mindset, motivation, methods. Those are the three things you could always control. So imagine this. If you feel like you're not evolving, you're not making consistent growth, you feel like you're stuck in a box, that box, think about it, an area of your life where you feel like you're stuck, you're not making progress, you're not advancing. That box by definition is three-dimensional. The three forces that keep you in that box are the same three forces that will liberate you out of that box, and they are your mindset, your motivation, and 
the methods you're using, your methodology. So let's, let's go into this. I want you to download this PDF. So on this worksheet, you see three intersecting circles and on the top, you have your goal. You have your goal. So I want you to write your goal down there. And you could use it, whatever it happens to be. I wanna read a, a book a week. Your goal could be, hey, I want to exercise 30 minutes a day, right? Whatever it happens to be, put it up on the goal section. And the three things that you could control, right? You control the controllables is your mindset, your motivation, and the method you're using to reach that goal, right? So that's your target. Now, let's talk about your mindset. Your mindset are the set of assumptions and attitudes about that thing. Your attitudes, assumptions, let's say your attitudes, assumptions about reading. Your attitudes, assumptions about books. Your attitudes, assumptions about how smart you are. Your attitudes and assumptions about your own focus, your own capabilities, right? That's your attitudes, assumptions about learning, right? Because here's the thing, you can learn a great method on how to read faster, and many of you have gone through our quick reading program, 15 minutes a day, you've tripled your reading speed, you have better comprehension, much better focus, much better retention, but if your mindset is, I'm not smart enough, reading's not important, right? Then you're still stuck in that box. So just remember that. So first thing we need to do is address our mindset, the set of assumptions and attitudes we have about our goal, and the set of assumptions and attitudes we have about what? Ourselves, right? Three things that would fall under this category, what I believe is possible. You could have a great technique on how to read faster as an example, and the example I'm using here, because I want you to read a book a week. I want everyone in our community to read a book a week. Most people read two or three books a year. If you could read a book a week, 52 books a year, that's, that's a game changer. If you want to personally evolve, reading is the best way to upgrade your brain. Reading is to your mind what exercises your body. If somebody has decades of experience and they put it in, into a book, and you can read that book in a few days, you can download decades into days. That is the path to evolution, right? All you know, great minds, they're great readers, all right? But you could have a great methodology, but if your mindset is, I'm not smart enough, I'm not capable of it, I don't deserve it, then you're still gonna be stuck in that box. So on this worksheet, what I want you to do here is we have some lines next to mindset. And what you wanna do is write your current mindset there right now, like when you quiet, when you look at your goal, what ideas come up, what thoughts come up, and write those down. And then what I want you to do in that section is what is the truth? Because what you've just written down are lies. A lie stands for what? A limited idea entertained. Remember, all behavior is belief-driven. All behavior is belief-driven. If you think you can or think you can, either way you're right, right? Henry Ford said that. And so if you're stuck, maybe it's because it's your thoughts or your beliefs. So write down your lies, a limited idea is entertained. I'm not smart enough, I can't do this, whatever it happens to be. And then write the opposite. Just write below it, the opposite. What is the opposite of that? I, I'm, I'm not a great reader. Maybe you're adding yet, right? What would you choose to believe? Now that's your mindset. And I'm doing this fast forward because many of you have joined our programs and that's why you are so successful if you've gone through this program because we address mindset, motivation, and methods. Anything that doesn't address those things is just giving you inspiration or giving you implementation. But if you don't address mindset, you're still stuck in that box. If you don't understand the second circle and you see it there, motivation. Right? If you're not motivated to get out of that box, you're not going to reach that goal. So what is your motivation level on a scale of 0 to 10 to be able to reach that goal? What's your motivation? And I always break down motivation as not something you have, it's something you do. You do not have motivation, you do it. Just like you don't have focus, you do it. You don't have energy, you do it. So what's motivation? When you take that noun and you turn it into a verb, it's something you could do. Three things, this is the formula for limitless motivation to reach that goal, to evolve consistently, to grow consistently. P times E times S3. P times E times S3. And what I want you to write is write this down. P times E times S3 in your worksheet. The P stands for purpose. One of the components that gives you motivation in terms of helps you to unleash more motivation is having a reason. Reasons reap results. If you don't have a reason to read a book a week, you're not gonna do it. If you don't have a reason to remember someone's name, you're not gonna do it. If you don't have a reason to work out, you're not gonna do it. Because human beings are not logical, we are biological, right? And so you need that dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, endorphins, to be able to move you. And so think about it. What is your reason? And don't just think about it here in your mind, feel about it. 
because it has to go from your head to your heart to your hands. Mindset is your head. Motivation is your heart. Methods are your hands. And so let's look at this. What are the benefits, the rewards that will come from having these reasons? If you follow through and have and you're able to read a book a week, let's I'm using that as an example because leaders are readers, you read to succeed, well, how's your life gonna change? You're gonna save time, you're gonna learn new information, you're gonna be able to get advancement, get into that graduate school, get that promotion, start that business. There is an answer in any book. Anything you're, you're struggling with right now, there's a book on your shelf probably or in a bookstore. But if you don't read it, it becomes shelf help and not self-help, right? The P is purpose. So write down the reasons and feel it. Now, you might have limitless purpose and still not be motivated because you need the E, energy. Somebody who is exhausted, they're not gonna feel motivated to read, to work out, to meditate, to be able to make those 10 sales calls, to do those presentations, to do difficult things, to get out their comfort zone, right? So you need energy because exhaustion will make a coward out of any of us. And so right there, right now, you don't have motivation, you do it. You don't have energy, you do it. So right in that worksheet, what are one, two, or three things you could do to generate more energy? Maybe it's to go to bed by a certain time. Maybe it's to get direct sunlight first thing in the morning. Maybe it's to eat those brain foods, right? Maybe it's to do some deep breathing. Maybe it's to hydrate yourself, to have energy, write that down. And then finally, somebody could have limitless purpose and the limitless energy and still not be motivated. Because what do you need? S3, small, simple steps. Maybe reading a book a week is too intimidating. It's too confusing. It's too big a goal for somebody who doesn't do that, right? So a small, simple step, put a book by your nightstand. A small, simple step, open up the book. A small, simple step, read one line in a book. Right? Maybe your goal here is to work out an hour a day. Maybe that's too big. A small, simple step, put on your running shoes. Join a gym. Your small, simple step, you get that by asking yourself a question. Here's the magic question, write it down. What is the tiniest action that I could take right now that will give me progress towards this goal where I can't fail? What is the tiniest action I could take right now that will give me progress towards this goal where I simply cannot fail? And then write that down. All right, that's motivation, and you're writing down on your worksheet. And then finally, now that you have limitless mindset and you have more of a limitless motivation, you could have limitless mindset and motivation about reading, but you could be using old methods. Like, let's take reading. What method are you using for reading right now? When's the last time you took a class called reading? How old were you? Six, seven years old? Now let me ask you a question. Has the difficulty and demand increased? Yes, since you were six or seven years old but how you read it is the same as the last training that you've had. And reading is not something that you're born with, right? It's a skill. But when's the last time you updated that method? You know, the average worker spends four to five hours a day processing information, mostly in the written word. That means half of your workday is being paid to read. And that's why if you could read three times faster, you could save all that time. Even if you could just double your reading speed, four hours and do in two hours, What's two hours a day over the course of a year? 365 times two. Even one hour a day over the course of a year is 365 hours. How many 40 hour work weeks is that? Nine. Two months of productivity you get back saving one hour a day on something ubiquitous like reading, right? Just by upgrading your methods, all right? So under the methods section, I want you to write the method that you're gonna use to be able to attain that goal. What are the method or methods you're gonna to use to be able to attain that goal? And if you haven't joined our quick reading program, please do so. Go to quickreading.com and join our program in just 15 minutes a day of practice. And you're probably doing 15 minutes a day of reading anyway. You could triple your reading speed, money back guarantee. Do an entire program for 30 days. If you're not blown away by how much more, how much confidence you have, how much more you enjoy it, how much more you're getting out of it, because it's not getting the gist of what you read. It's really having better focus and comprehension. So it's not even about speed reading, it's really about smart reading, right? So give yourself that gift, get a book. You know, think about what, what are the 52 books you wanna be able to get through this year? Have a reading list, and then that could be part of your methods, right? So hope, um, hopefully quick reading is one of the cases. Maybe your goal is to be able to remember names and faces, right? One of the most important business etiquette networking skill there is, right? And remember, there's no such thing as a good or bad memory. There's a trained memory and an untrained memory, but you need the proper mindset, proper motivation, 
and certainly need to upgrade our skills because there was never a class called memory back in school. School taught us what to learn, math, history, science, Spanish, but where were the classes on how to learn it? I always thought it should have been fourth R in school, reading, writing, arithmetic, obviously spelling wasn't one of them, but what about recall? What about retention? Socrates said, learning is remembering. So maybe under the methods, quick reading, quick recall. Because the reason I say this also, I think the number one skill to master today in a today's fast paced, ever changing world is your ability to learn faster. An individual or a team's ability to learn rapidly and translate that learning into action is the ultimate competitive advantage there is. That's why I get to work with such amazing individuals of all ages and stages of their life because if knowledge is power, learning is your superpower. So do you get this? The limitless model, mindset, motivation, and the methods. Write that down, use this worksheet, make sure you go to jimquick.com forward slash notes, download the worksheet, and if you got value out of this session, people ask like, Jim, I love this, you know, you don't have any, any sponsors, you get right to the point, you can do this in 20 minutes or less, it's amazing. Three ways to help us. Number one, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to iTunes, to Spotify, to, to Pandora, to YouTube. Number two, please leave a review. Leave a comment on, on YouTube, share your story, or leave a review on iTunes or on Amazon if you purchase our book, Limitless, you know, thank you. And then number three, please share it. If you got value out of this, share it with your family, share it with your friends who's struggling right now and stuck in that box. You know, teach it to somebody else, because if you teach it, you share it, you get to learn it twice. I want to thank you for listening. I'm your brain coach, Jim Quick. I'll see you in our next episode. Until then, be limitless.